Okay, um, so here we are, and let's make our first steps in my simple, simple, simple game engine. Um, so I think what I'm going to sort of focus on now is starting to get together a little bit of basic objects that I can work with, because uh, actually later this month on the, I think the 23rd, uh, if anyone's familiar with Ludum Dare, or Ludum Dare, however it's pronounced, um, they will be having another one of those, uh, Compo events. Ludum Dare. Uh, where is it? Yeah, here they are. Um, yeah, so I think their next one is coming up later this month on... Let's close that out. You guys don't need to see my email. Anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, August 23rd through 26th, 6th. So um, I'm going to put together some basic, you know, objects and things that can collide so that when the time comes, I won't have to work on too much low-level stuff to get a game running. So um, right now, let's... Um, yeah, get some of that together. I think my focus will be just to get a basic object and maybe like a utility class set up um, so that I can have collision and things like that. So let's get started. So let's make a new project. Open FL, create project. Um, and I think uh, since this We'll let's just call it uh, game engine like that, and I believe we should have our game engine right there. So let's open that project up and get started. So um, first, let's so. Since I'll be making my little, what is this, uh, library, so we're going to make, let's go back here, and in hex, we're going to make a um, package for this. So the usual style of this is to do reverse kind of website style naming. So we'll do a com, and then ninja egg because that's my website that I don't use, ninjaegg.com. You, you can go there, but you won't see much. So in here, we will put our uh, classes. So let's make another one in here. Let's call it utils. So that's where we're going to put uh, um, maybe our, uh, you know, maybe we'll just put in Ninja Egg for now. Let's just put it in Jag for now. Okay, so um, let's go back to our. I thought I opened up that project. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> I did. But yes, so here's our project. So here's what we're going to do. Let's, in the project here, let's add a class path to uh, our library. So we'll hit the com and it'll bring in com ninja egg and all that business. So what we will do is in ninja egg, yeah. Actually, we can just delete that utils folder because I don't think we'll really need to do that. Let's add a new class. So this will be our like basic object, um, but let's call it an. I'm going to sort of steal naming from Flashpunk, and this will just be an entity. Entity. And I don't think it's going to extend anything just yet. So this entity will have some basic information about uh, this object. For example, um, maybe I'll have a public variable of the x position. We'll make that a float. We'll do the same for... Oh! Should we do a separate? Or maybe I should put it in a point. 
Let's put it in a point. That seems like it would be better. I hope it is. <laughs> so yeah, let's do that. So it's position. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, this will be a public variable position, which will be a point. And then, uh, what else? Uh, we will have our public um, public variable the width and height the floats and public variable height that will be a float 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 what else do we need um, how about a uh, uh, Will that be velocity? Yeah. Public variable velocity. And we'll also make that a point. Um, uh, we maybe later we can do like acceleration and all that, but right now we'll just keep it simple with velocity. And I think that's all we need. Um, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, we'll keep width and height uh, uh, separate like that. Okay. So what happens when we make a new thing? So let's take in a position, an X position. Float. A Y position, uh, float, and a width. Let's call it in width. width. <laughs> Sorry, float, and in height, float. Um, and let's just do uh, some defaults. It'll come in at zero. And if I don't set anything, it'll come in at, let's say, 16 pixels. Well, let's do 32, actually. Uh, okay, but if not, let's set up all of this business. So, uh, yeah, bar, no, 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 so x position equal, no, 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 sorry, <laughs> so position x equals x position, position y, whoops, I'm having trouble typing here equals y position um, and the width equals the width and height equals in height and velocity will equal a new uh, point and that'll come in at zero, zero. So I think that'll set us up for an object. Um, yeah. What else do we need? Should we get getters and setters for our min and max? So let's do that. So how did we do that? That was public our min, and then was that get and then never and it returns a point is that how it works <laughs> I forget how getters and setters work uh, so let's see recent files collide box okay yeah so public bar yeah Get never. Okay, good, good. And then down here I'll have to generate that. I wonder if I can automate that at all. Control Shift 1. Nope. 
No, I can't. Or if we do this way, it should work. No. Okay, anyways. Alright. And let's do the same for Max. Let me just copy and paste this. Copy, paste, and Max. So, um, let's see. Then what do we do? We need to do... Oh, no. Uh, that would be a private um, function. Get min. And I think it returns point. I'll double check that as well. So, print, yep. And then I just have it return the minimum. So, return the new point, which is equal to uh, position. Yeah, position x plus, no, the minimum should just be position x and position y, yeah, for the minimum. And private function get max point. Does return point, and then this will return the uh, position x plus width, and position y plus height. There. So now we have our information for all that. And then I think also, let's see, I think we'll need to do, will I need an update function? Update. Well, let's add it anyway. So public function update. And that doesn't return anything void. And we'll just, it'll be empty for now because. This is just the base of what our things will be. All right. I think our basic object is complete. So next, let's make a utility thing. Let's add a new class. This will be the... Let's call it the tools class. So in here, I don't think, uh, does it have to have this constructor? I don't think so. Well, let's leave it just in case. Um, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to have a whole bunch of static functions in here. Functions. <laughs> uh, and our first one will be, uh, will be overlaps. And what this is going to take is two, um, two uh, entities. Entity. Oh yeah, and it's going to return a boolean. Boolean. Okay. So then we're going to just check, you know, the parts of these. So actually, let's just steal my code from earlier. Uh, where was that? Let's open. Excuse me. Uh, where was that? That was in box tosser. Source main. Okay, yeah, let's just steal this. <laughs> Yoink. So, copy. And let's close that. And in tools, let's paste. And I think we'll have to. That should be the same. Yeah. Amax. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Yeah. Easy. Stealing from yourself is okay, guys. 
You should do it. Okay. Um, yeah. And I think our tools class is done. So, if we go to our main, um, let's test it out. Now we're at 15 minutes. Let's see if I can get this up and running. Toot sweet. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> I wonder if an entity should extend a sprite now. Oh, too late now. Let's just go with it. Let's see what happens. Alright, so in our main, we're going to, let's make a new thing. This will be our box, which actually will extend uh, entity. Maybe. <laughs> now I'm starting to worry. Maybe it's going to be kind of a hassle to um, get all of this displaying if it's not extending a. Maybe this will extend a sprite and it'll have an entity inside of it. Will that be kind of weird? might be. Let's do that. I think that'll be the easiest thing. So this will extend the sprite. So box extends the sprite, and maybe it has its entity inside. I think later we'll do this differently, but for now, let's just do it this way. Or my entity is an entity. Ooh, was there more than one entity in there? That might cause some problems. Oh no, only my entity. Good. Whew, I was about to be worried there. Ah, but the update is also going to be all weird. All right, how about this? <laughs> I'm not going to edit this out. Um, I'm going to call it quits right here. I think um, what I have here will be the, uh, the start. Uh, save changes. Yeah, why not? Will be the start of our uh, game engine. We have our entity with our basic information. And we have our little overlappy measuring tool. So um, maybe later tonight, I will um, think about this some more. And well, right now I have to go to work, so I can't spend the time to think about how to do this right now. Um, and I will uh, talk to you later. Bye.